Uh, Bobby, first to you, what's it like stepping into the shoes of this character you played over 20 years ago? Oh, um, so I mean, uh, it's, it's interesting because when, when I originally did The Brothers Garcia, uh, the character was pretty much modeled after me after a couple of seasons. They were just writing for Bobby and it was just Bobby being goofy and reacting to imaginary circumstances like we ran over an armadillo and now it needs to go in a pizza box, stuff like that. Um, and so coming back to this character, there's a lot of it, a lot of me is still in there, but there's a lot of things that are different. Uh, George is married. He has a daughter. He has, he makes fart apps. None of those things are true about me. Uh, so I had to sort of figure out how to, to make all of that work. Uh, luckily I had the lovely Nitsia Chama who made it so easy to be a husband. Uh, as soon as we had such amazing rapport and, and such great chemistry uh, that is, I mean, I just felt like I wanted to support her through everything as soon as we met uh, with the amazing Maeve Garay, who plays my daughter. I was just immediately protective of her and, and, and felt this kind of need of like, what, like, if she's, if she's, you know, uh, if she wants to, like, what can I teach her? And so she just wanted to learn everything she could about comedy. And I was like, okay, so here we go. We're going to work on these bits and we're going to do this. And she was just so receptive to all of it. And they made that really easy. And as far as being rich, I just had to walk into the mansion and be like, yeah, this is mine. Like, like, don't touch anything. <laughs> it was so easy to adapt to yeah, that. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was the easiest one to adapt to, was just being wealthy. <laughs> I love that. And it's it to you. Did you go back and watch any of the original show in preparation for this role? Yeah, I had to because I didn't grow up in the States, so I didn't even know about the show. When I got the audition, of course, the name got my attention like, oh, wow, the Garcia's. Yes, it's a Latino show. So when I uh, I did my, res my research, I watched some of the episodes and I said like, yes, please, I need to be part of this show because they look like my family. They uh, remind me of my uh, culture, my roots, my language. So it's very important to have like these new auditions because it brings inclusion, diverse uh, diversity to the show. And it's very uh, important to see the proper representation on television. So when I moved to the States eight years ago, I remember like I was so worried about my accent and my maybe, uh, I don't know, my look because I... I I didn't know like where was my safe place to be, you know, I was getting the same auditions and the same stereotype uh, kind of roles. So when I saw this uh, TV show, I said, this is our family. This is a proper way to represent our community. So I think this show is bringing so much joy, light and the representation that we need. And not only the Latinos, but we are just people being people. They're not giving us any labels. We are a family. We are sharing love, empathy, uh, kindness. And this is very important because we're bringing light to the new generations. Bobby, last question real quick before I go here. I need to know about the shirts, man. I was jealous of the shirts throughout the show. Um, did, you have a, did you have a hand in that? Did you get to keep any of those? Like, what, what was the deal? All right, you want to hear a funny story? Uh, yeah. So way back in the day with the original Brothers Garcia, uh, when I went to audition for it, I had never worn a Hawaiian shirt in my entire life. And my cousin uh, bought me a Hawaiian shirt and said, you should wear this to the audition. And I went, cool. So I wore it. And when it came to the callbacks, as an actor, you're always told, wear something similar. I didn't have anything similar to a Hawaiian shirt. So I just wore the same Hawaiian shirt over and over again. And Jeff Valdez loved it so much. He says, your character wears Hawaiian shirts now. And so that's all I ever wore. I went from never wearing any to having a closet full of them. So I, I guess I did sort of have a hand in it, but it was very much Jeff Valdez that decided this is your thing. And 20 years later, George still does it. And we had an amazing, um, we had an amazing uh, wardrobe uh, person, uh, Natalia Colasso, I think I'm saying that right, uh, that just found the dopest Hawaiian shirts I've ever seen. That I, I was like, before I was like, oh, I'm going to wear Hawaiian shirts again. And then I, I saw what she had and I was like, so so when we're done, I'm keeping all of these, right? And I, 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 all, I kept all of them. I kept all of them. They're, they're so dope. <laughs> I love them. 